Yes, he fought the 1965 war with Pakistan and, and was awarded with the Veer Chakra for his risky reconnaissance mission that was of great help to India. But Assam's first Veer Chakra awardee, Wing Commander Utpal Barbara, has been moving from pillar to post since 1989 to get his due, which is a small plot of government land in Guwahati, a part of his award. Zahir Akram brings you this exclusive report. Meet war veteran Indian Air Force Wing Commander Utpal Barbara. First from Assam to be honored with the Veer Chakra. Wing Commander Barbara played a vital reconnaissance role in the run up to the 1965 war with Pakistan. The operation decisively exposed the use of US gifted patent tanks by Pakistan against India. It was on the 26th of April 1965, during the Kutch operations, that Wing Commander Barbara, then a flying officer, carried out a photo reconnaissance sortie in the Biarbet area where the Pakistani army had mounted an attack against one of the Indian army positions. His task was to collect evidence of the possession and use of foreign tanks by Pakistani forces. At around 10 in the morning that day, Commander Barbara, along with his cameraman, took off in the vintage Vampire aircraft from the Jamnagar Air Base in Gujarat. On 26th April of 1965, I was told by my station commander to undertake a sortie in the approximate area and try and locate these Pakistani forces. I was told that although I would be fully armed, I was not to use any kind of uh, uh, armaments against the Pakistani forces, except in the case of self-defense. Morning at about 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock or something, we took off. And with, uh, after crossing the sea, entered the area where it was very dusty. To avoid detraction from the Pakistani radar, I had to fly at a very low level. That made things more difficult. But nevertheless, we were lucky we were able to continue. And as per navigation, arrived at a place called Bierbet, where we found a lot of smoke and fire. That was the battleground where uh, the fighting was taking place. As he made headway over the Pakistani positions, he could clearly see the enemy positions and its heavy armour and artillery. Soon, his aircraft came in the midst of a barrage of surface-to-air fire by Pakistani troopers. The situation was a lot more risky as he was flying at a very low altitude of about 50 metres above the enemy line. This was necessary to facilitate his cameraman to take clear shots. After making five to six passes over the enemy positions in the run of Kutch area, clear evidence of Pakistan's armor and artillery that included the US gifted Patton tanks could be procured. The picture on your screens is one of the photos taken during Barbara's photo reconnaissance sortie. After completing his mission, Barbara flew back to his base where he gave a verbal report to his commanding officer. An hour and a half later, the photos were ready. These snaps confirm the use of patent tanks by the Pakistani forces against Indian troopers. Soon, the evidence was made public and Pakistan had no option but to pull back their troops from the Kutch area, thus putting an end to the battle in run immediately. After I found the distant location, I took my uh, cameras on and did the required reconnaissance of the area to identify and uh, take photographs of the Pakistani troops and uh, forces. I spent about five minutes in the battle area and after completing the work, returned back to base. They were firing at us, but fortunately there were no hits only able to get back. On the 
development of the photographs, it was disclosed that they're using the latest tanks of those days called the Patton tanks, which were gifted by America to Pakistan, and which are not supposed to be used against India. Once the proof came out, this was given in the media, even the world media also, and because of this concrete proof that was established, the Pakistanis were forced to withdraw in a rapid order from that area. The battle, that particular battle, came to an end soon. Later, Wing Commander Barbara was honored with the Veer Chakra for his exemplary display of courage, determination and professional skill. Barbara became the first Assamese to be honored with a gallantry award. While the Wing Commander was highly successful in giving a slip to the enemy forces, at home it has been a long tale of non-stop slips played on the war veteran by successive governments in Assam. The previous AGP and Congress governments have miserably failed to deliver the rightful due to Wing Commander Utpal Barbara. According to the laid down norms, respective state governments have to make available to gallantry awardees either a monetary grant of Rs 50,000 or a plot of land of equivalent value. After retiring from the services in June 1988, it was on the 9th of March 1989 that Wing Commander Utpal Barbara had first written to the Prafullo Kumar Mohanto-led AGP government in Assam requesting allotment of a plot of land of equivalent value at the time. Since then, this poor witnessed many governments come and go, but none addressed the Wing Commander's cause. Barbara's prayers to the government kept moving from table to table, office to office, department to department. Several letters from Barbara failed to have any impact on the heavyweights of Dispur or at the district level. 1989, there was a new uh, award policy announced by government of India and government of Assam, where for a receiver, recipient of a Vichakra Awadi, was uh, given, apart from other monetary benefits, also some of rupees 50,000 in lieu of land. I belong to Guwahati, I didn't have any land of my own. So I requested the government that in lieu of the cash, I would prefer to have my land of the equivalent value, and so I should be allotted a plot of land somewhere around Guwahati. I applied to proper channels to the director of the uh, signing board, it was sent to the government, which in turn sent the application, due to recommending it to the Deputy Commissioner, Gauhati. That was in 89 itself. Uh, nothing much happened for a long time. After some more time, I made <coughs> some more application to the government. They were again duty forwarded to the Deputy Commissioner's office. And then I went and personally met the deputy commissioners of uh, different times. Every time that I met the DC, he had promised to uh, look into it and the required job to be done. But uh, perhaps for my bad luck or whatever, every time the DC got transferred immediately after. With the matter stuck at square one for decades, on the 15th of February 2010, Barbara wrote to the then Chief Minister of Assam, Turun Gogoi, seeking his intervention. But it turned out to be another repeat story of the file moving from table to table, office to office and corner to corner. About 10 years back, I met the DC that time and he confirmed and promised that the, my case would be put up and the next land allotment committee meeting. I even requested that that time uh, Gohati MLA, Captain uh, Bordeloy, who also spoke to DC on my behalf, and it was promised to him also that he will die in the next possible meeting. Nothing happened. I believe, mind you, I believe, I have nothing in writing with me, that my case was sent 
from the DC office earlier on uh, one or two occasions to the government of Assam for consideration. But somehow the recommendation just disappeared, nothing happened. Finally, around 2012, I think, I met the Chief Secretary, then Chief Secretary, Mr. Das, who was very kind to give me a good hearing, and in my presence spoke to the DC, Mr. Agnihotri, to look into it and allot a plot on my, on my name. Subsequently, at some function at the governor's place, Mr. Das happened to meet me there and inform me that a plot has been identified for me and that I should get the allotment shortly. Unfortunately, Mr. Das retired shortly after. Nothing happened. A little later, the then DC Mr. Agni also got transferred. Nothing happened. So right now, all two in this period, uh, in the Congress government rule, all the allotments, all the recommendations that went there, just fizzled out. In an exclusive one-to-one -one interview with Northeast Life, the war hero spoke about how he has been neglected and ignored by successive governments in Assam. A war veteran, the first from Assam to be honoured with a war gallantry award, the V Chakra, Wing Commander Utpal Barbara. It's been three decades now that he has requested for a land in Greater Guwahati, but successive governments in Assam have failed to address his cause. Right now, I'm being joined by Wing Commander Utpal Barbara. So, Wing Commander, who do you think is to be blamed for not providing what is rightfully yours? It appears to be a work of vested interest. After all, uh, the requirements have been projected to both the DC office and the Revenue Department at the government of Sam at this point. And every time uh, somehow all of this thing didn't uh, uh, go forward as is required to. I mean, I feel that the persons involved perhaps felt that there'll be no personal gain if they allowed this plot to me. And uh, it, it could be therefore nothing else but vested interest that is blocking the issue. Now there is a BGP government both at the state and the center. And we all know that the uh, BJP government, the BJP, has turned back into power in the center, riding on its, you know, muscular nationalist agenda. So, and they have also made it clear that, you know, uh, time and again, that uh, welfare of the defense forces are the priority. So are you hopeful now that uh, this present government, the BJP government, will, you know, address your cause? Certainly, certainly. We have a lot of hopes and faith on the BJP government. In fact, I've already seen many, many welfare activities taking place centrally all over the country for the defense forces. And for all, in fact, for all armed forces personnel. And uh, unlike the previous uh, uh, administrations, we are looking forward to, hopefully, in fact, for betterment in all spheres in the defense workplace. You wrote to then Chief Minister of Assam, Tarun Gogo, in 2010, and, uh, you know, that barely made any effect. You know, the things just kept on moving from table to table. Then now there is uh, a BGP government in the state. It's a, there is a change in government. So uh, will you like to apprise the present Chief Minister, Minister of Assam? And if so, what would you like to say to Chief Minister Sarvanad Sunwal? I would certainly like to apprise the Chief Minister of the development of this case. Definitely. And I'm hopeful that if he hears me out, he will do the necessary justice to my case. Uh, it also appear, appears that for decades together, your case has shifted from department to department without any result. The matter, you know, came to the notice of Kamrup Metro DC several times, yet the matter continues to be stuck at square one. What would, uh, you know, would you blame the bureaucracy for this sorry state of affairs? Uh, it is uh, difficult to pinpoint, but in my experience, all this while, the bureaucracy, mainly perhaps in the revenue department at this pool, has not been playing ball with the matter 
And uh, <coughs> uh, it seems, as I said earlier, that vested interests are always at, always at play. Uh, particularly during the Congress regime, there seem to be a lot of personal interests taking priority over the government work. And, and why wouldn't it be so? Because uh, I have seen personally that while my entitlement had been uh, totally overlooked, there are other persons who have been allotted the uh, land within Gawati itself who are not really uh, entitled or authorized. I cannot point all the hundreds of cases, but certainly know of a few. I mean, it could be uh, authenticated, could be found out by just looking at the files. And uh, certainly, I would not be uh, uh, saying that the uh, government had been fair during that period at all. Now that it's as clear as daylight that the Assam government owes a plot of land to the war veteran, the question arises if the Dispur Sultans would pull up its socks and do the needful with utmost urgency in the interest of justice to such a celebrated air warrior. The ball at this point is with the court of the present Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal. It was first in 1989 that Wing Commander Utpal Barbara had written to the authorities in Assam requesting for a plot of land in Guwahati. It's now 2019, but the Wing Commander's plea has only been able to make it to the rounds of the tables. The Congress and the AGP government in the state have failed miserably over the years to address the Wing Commander's cause. Now will the BJP government in the state come forward on its own and duly act to address the Wing Commander's cause? Or the wing commander will have to approach the government once again and wait for another several years to get what is his rightful. With video journalist Devanga Das, this is Zahir Akram for Naughty Slide.